I think the combo K2 Plus with the AMAT system, if it's a thousand dollar, I think it was so like crazy to be honest. Hopefully it comes fast because I really want to get my hand on those 3D printers and the multi materials system. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video we will be taking a look at Creality's new K2 Plus. 3D printers with multi-materials system. Let's scratch to this topic. So apparently, Creality leaked their newest slicer, which is the version 5 beta. And some people got access to that accidentally, I think. And so yeah, they posted on Reddit, as you can see on the screen already. So I will take a look at this and talk through it. And this is actually really exciting, to be honest. And it looks like Creality saw this or something, and they deleted that link. So nobody can get access to this anymore. Let's zoom in. This was leaked like two days ago, but I just got the time to do it today it was leaked by this dude diligent boredom maybe he's so bored that he go and look for things that are leaked by companies like this <laughs> so based on this picture right here it looks like it might be the new k2 plus yeah and let's take a closer look so if we look closely right here right it says k2 plus and it's a 350 by 350 by 350 millimeters 3d printer which is crazy it's even bigger than the k1 max the k1 max is only 300 by 300 by 300 if we look at the picture here they fix many things that are the problems with the k1 max the first thing that i really noticed is the screen they put the screen on top instead of at the bottom here because if they do it at the bottom they can have to do a cutout for the glass like the k1 k1 max and k1c but if they do at the top right there they don't need to do any cutout and they can have a full closure at the front door and this looks so much more clean and more professional and now let's take a look at the nozzle head so it looks like they changed the nozzle head a bit it looks like there's no fan at the front here but maybe it's on the side or or inside but it doesn't really matter it was to have some sort of cooling but the most interesting thing is the back piece here if we look at the back piece here it's like i think it's kind of like the bamboo lab 3d printer which i don't have one so i don't know exactly how it looked or how it works but maybe that's like for changing filament right because if we look at the title from this post it says multi-materials unit so where it purge and it pulls out filament so that is really cool or it could just be a filament wipe and if we look at the bed here it has the k1c style bed which is amazing right and it looks like there's no rod in the middle hopefully they put it on four corners so that it's more stable instead of doing like a triangle rods i feel like that's not good uh, because it's gonna off balance if they put the rods on four ends it's gonna have a really balance and you can adjust it and you can adjust the corner so much better and if we look at the middle here it looks like it has three vents which is crazy which is good and just a small detail if we look at the very top here i hopefully that's a glass like the k1 max and the handle is very big these handle looks really nice to be honest but hopefully the filament is not loaded at the back anymore <laughs> okay let's go down if we look here it says manage printer so this is like adding or setting up your printer and on this post it says the k1 max it has a tab called multi-materials single extruder multi-material manual filament change and stuff like that but yeah it has that so maybe it does have multi-material coming for the k1 max or all the k1s that is going to be very good and if we keep going down this kind of system right here so a b c and d maybe that's like four filament pretty similar to the baboon lab but i don't have it so i like i said i don't know and maybe this is like five filament right here you can do five filament four on the ams i'm just i'm just gonna call it the ams maybe four on the ams system and then you have your main pla or your first pla on your 3d printer and that is five filament which is very nice and if we go all the way down here this guy also has a different picture here so let's take a look at that and we can see here this is like a creative slicer where you add or you find your 3d printers and you add it to the slicer so that you will get the profile from creality and it has a k2 plus maybe the k2 plus is going to be coming and the multi-material is going to be coming very soon hopefully it comes fast because i really want to get my hand on those 3d printers and the multi-materials system it says 300 by 300 by 300 but on the 3d printer itself it says 350 by 350 by 350 so what i think is they just clone the k1 max for the k2 plus and they forgot to change the dimension because it's like in beta so they don't really do all the details until they push their slicer out so i think they just clone it and then just change tweaks little bits like little bits here little bits there but it's still really cool that they have it it's still really cool that these people actually got got access to this creality version 5 beta and actually leaked all of this because we have some more information on what creality is doing and i'm just gonna go through some of the comments that people have here 
Hero Max is 930 without any kind of aimant. AMS, so I can see a larger unit with AMS being less money. I venture, I guess, it'll likely be in the 1200 or 1300 range. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna compare it to Bamboo Lamp. If we look at the Bamboo X1C with the AMS system, it's over a thousand dollar, and the X1C itself, I think. So the Bamboo Lamp X1C with the AMS combo is 1449, but the printer itself is 1199 dollars, and it's not even that big compared to Creatis. But Creatis K1 Max is only 899, so I think based on the pricing of Creatis, I think it might be. $999 for the K2 Plus it's just my assumption because if we look at this so if we look at the K1 Max right now it is 899 MSRP and right now they are doing a saving of $180 so if you want the K1 Max you can use the link down below to get yourself a K1 Max you can be saving $180 but besides that so this is $899 MSRP right and if we look at the K1 it's $599 K1C is 559 wait that doesn't make sense let me know in the comments down below is creati k1 always 599 dollars i totally forgot because i i did not check out the k1 i checked the k1 mac wasn't 599 dollars and the k1c and the k1c is 559 right the k1c is cheaper than the k1 really wow i don't think that's quite right because i think the k1 is only 499 dollars not 599 dollars if i remember correctly but whatever the sense is like this right so the k1 max is 899 dollars and i believe the k2 max is bigger in size it's a newer printer and it's the k2 now so it might be 999 dollars that's my guess max maybe 1100 dollars i don't i don't know but hopefully it's under a thousand dollar and the ams system hopefully it's only like 200 dollars to 300 dollars hope it's like more uh, i don't know it, it's way too expensive started but combo might be like a thousand dollars that would be freaking crazy dude i think the combo k2 plus with the aim system if it's a thousand dollar i think it was so like crazy to be honest but yeah that is pretty much it with this video of creative's new k2 plus with the multi-materials leaked and yeah this is amazing to be honest hopefully they fix many of the things that are that people find with the k1 max or with the k1 series and the k2 plus is like crazy good man hopefully that's it hopefully that is what the k2 plus is going to be and yeah hopefully the multi-material unit or multi-material system is great with the k2 plus i'm really excited to get my hand on one of these 3d printers as soon as this come out i think i'm just gonna get it and yeah hopefully i can get it to be honest but anyway thank you so much for watching today's video and as always keep on 3d printing